was like a potluck soup. Like a, hey guys, I bought you a soup. You know, potlucks, you know. It's always that one person that brings something. You'd be like, why the fuck did you bring this? This is that dish. What's good, T Tribe? Tiana T. Yeah, that's me, and I'm here with day three of Vlogmas. If you watched the last vlog, you already know what time it is. I'm about to cook this pumpkin white chili. I think that's what it's called. Pumpkin chili. Never had it. Don't even know what it tastes like, but hopefully it's good. So, I do finally got all my ingredients, though. By the way, fresh off work. You know, I did the color blocking today. You know, this is all New York and Company, you know what I'm saying? Then I got the blue pants, you know? Color block, you know? That's all I was going for. Yeah, anyway. I finally got all my ingredients, so what I was missing was a pumpkin. I need a pumpkin puree. Of course, because I don't eat pumpkin, I ain't know where to find it from. So I went to like different Targets and all that and they just didn't have them. But the grocery store right downstairs, connected to my apartment, had pumpkin puree. Who knew? Anyway, the recipe calls for unsweet pumpkin. But the thing is, I ain't no pumpkin eater, but I feel like pumpkin should at least be sweet. Because I'm thinking like sweet potatoes. I wanted my soup to be like a sweet, like savory, like thick, creamy, like delicious like I don't know which is good and unsweet mean it's not gonna be sweet at all and I, I was kind of imagining sweet so downstairs they had this pumpkin pie mix and I was like pumpkin pie that means it gotta be a little bit sweet and then I thought about it I was like what if it tastes better unsweet so because I thought it might taste better unsweet I also got the pure pumpkin puree same company same like design and everything, just like, I guess it's unsweet. I don't know, it, it just say pumpkin, no sugar and all that in there, so it should be good. So what we gonna do, I'ma taste both of them and whichever one I like, I'ma go with. I thought I could sweet up the regular one with like some coconut milk. Turns out I ain't got no coconut milk, so that's what we gonna do. First things first though, we gonna cut up all the vegetables. We gotta get everything suited and booted cause you know, I got, I got things to do. I gotta go to the gym, I gotta do CrossFit today. It's my like last training class of CrossFit, so. Whew, I gotta get this over with. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with that. Cause you know, for talking too long, let's go ahead and get right to the video. Starting with freshly washed hands. Here is the onion. And now, now I'm about to go ahead and chop the celery. The recipe calls for two stalks, but I'm adding three for good luck. Update, I thought I was about that traditional life. Nope, ain't in me. So we finna full process it out. Yup. Y'all. I just discovered that I never took out the ground turkey from the freezer. Like, how dare I do some idiotic stuff like that? Like, I let the whole night go by. The whole day go by, and I never took out the ground turkey from the freezer. It is rock frozen cold, so I ain't gonna let it get me down, even though I'm pissed off. I see what my mom was talking about back in the day, but we gonna fix that real quick. We are gonna put this in the microwave and just put it on defrost and hope for the best. Now the recipe calls for like two carrots, but I like to just cut my carrots immediately because y'all see that? It got this like weird little film around it. I don't really like the outside of carrots. It'd be nasty. So I always like to kind of shred that off. And how I do that is I just take it like this and just go over the trash can and just take like five seconds. So I'm gonna do that with two of these. And once again, the recipe called for two carrots, so we're taking three for extra good luck. All right, I got everything chopped and ready to go, uh, moving along. So I'm not following the recipe to a T because honestly, you made one soup, you made them all. So I'm about to go ahead and cook the ground turkey. Then I'm gonna cook the vegetables together, you know, get them all nice and soft and then saute them and then add the seasonings to, well, I'm seasoning the meat by itself. Then I'm adding the seasonings to the vegetables to make sure they're not going to the pot so uh so um, flavorful, so like bare, so just basic. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you all that. And then we're going to throw it in the pot and then I get to go take a nap. Little we'll sea salt. Good old staples. All right, we almost there, so. Make sure I get a little close up. That's all the seasonings and the meat and all that added. Now, we're gonna get the crock pot going. But first, we gotta get the good old Reynolds Kitchen slow cooker liners. Because who finna scrub that bowl? Not me. 
All right, let's get it poppin'. All right, and while that's cooking, we are off to CrossFit. A few moments later. So, I'm back from CrossFit, I'm sure you can tell. This is why I don't be on YouTube like that, like y'all. One little session will ruin my whole entire, like, my whole entire ensemble. Like, I look terrible. I look homeless, I look really awful. But they kicked my ass in CrossFit, y'all. I'm gonna walk y'all through what I just did. You know how most uh, gyms or most like workout routines be like, oh yeah, it's just three sets. They said you doing seven rounds, seven whole rounds. So let me tell you how I started. First of all, we did the warm up. The warm up included like jumps and all that kind of stuff. I was tired and sweating at the warm up. I knew it was going downhill from there. So anyway, the actual workout, we had to do a, what they call them things? So I'm gonna show y'all cause, cause somebody asked me to like document like my journey, even though I already lost like a couple pounds already like that fast. But anyway, this is how you do it. We had a big old 10 pound ball. It was like about, about like this wide. It was like that. Anyway, you get you a little wall, you get close, you gotta go like this. Fifteen times. Then you gotta run to your bike and get on the bike or like the uh and then run to your bike and do nine calories. And nine calories equates to like about a minute and 15 seconds on the bike, just like, just going, charging. I'm just like, bro, I just did 15 squats with that heavy ass, like, ball. Cause you know, as you like doing the ball and you getting tired, you get heavier and heavier. Y'all, I thought like I was lifting and throwing 50 pounds. Anyway, after I do the bike, we ain't done yet. I gotta go to the side. I got this little block jump, right? It's like a block, a block like this high. I gotta do a burpee. If y'all know what a burpee is, you gotta get down my chest to the ground. Then I gotta bring my feet up. Then I gotta hop up. Then I gotta take a step forward and jump on the block, like with both feet, and then stand up straight. Kind of like you gotta flex your booty six times. I was like, y'all, like y'all want all that? That's one round. We had to do seven in 25 minutes. Y'all asked to like quit at six. I really could have quit at five. I was like, oh my god. You know what made it worse, y'all? What made it worse is that my wig was just like flying up. Every time I jump, it would just like come up all the way like that. Cause you know, only got it secured here and here. Cause you no, know, so you part wig. But y'all, I wasn't embarrassed. Cause you know, I don't get embarrassed that easily. But I was just like, damn, my wig flapping up. I'm tired as hell. I can't keep up. And I was just like, damn, I'm out of shape. But that's why your girl look good on Instagram. They're like, oh, dang, you looking good. Your waist looking stanched. I'm just like, yes, I be working and putting that work. Literally, I be putting in that where I be tired. But I'm back. Let's go check on food. I'm not even hungry, y'all. They work me out so hard, I'm not even hungry. And I don't never turn on no food, but I'm, I'm gonna go taste it. And I really don't got no high hopes for it. Cause like, I was tasting the pumpkin and I added a little bit more sweet pumpkin and I just, I ain't no pumpkin fan. I don't know why I chose this. It looked good, but everything that don't, but everything that looked good ain't good. I will say one thing though, this plastic definitely is keeping everything clean. Y'all see that? Ain't nothing touching that bowl. I ain't doing this and I ain't scrubbing that well. I'm cleaning that and all that. But I ain't scrubbing this with all that, you know, like crust and stuff. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's thick as this. She's looking kind of cute. By the way, I added hell of a lot more seasoning. They just put salt on the recipe. They ain't say, oh, one tablespoon, one teaspoon. They just said salt, so salt to taste, y'all. I threw this whole thing in there. Let's do the taste test. I make sure I get some beans up in there. Not just the meat, you know, I ain't gonna try to cheat and stuff. Got to taste everything. Look, 
I know I talk all that shit saying, oh, of course, it's going to be good because I taste as I go. And I do taste as I go. But here's the problem. Everything good but the pumpkin. Like, my meat good, my beans good, my, my carrots is good, the celery and the uh, onions is good. <laughs> but the pumpkin is not good. <laughs> and I tried my best to spruce it up. The beans make the pumpkin taste better. But if you get a piece without the beans, it's just like not worth it. Yeah, my meat real good. It's just pumpkin got a weird taste to it. Never mind. Yeah, with the beans, this y'all slap. It's real good. It got a little spice to it. Add. Look, if the recipe calls for like a pinch of crushed peppers, I put a heap of crushed peppers. That's good. That's good. Would I make this recipe again though? Nah. Would I eat it again though? I would eat it again. I would eat it again if like somebody else made it. And somebody else bought the ingredients. And somebody else served this with like a couple more items. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not just like the main course. Then I would eat it. But like as far as me making it again by itself and me trying to be like, hey, it's a good dish. Nah, this got to be a like specific request because like, nope. My master, my best soup, my most prized soup I make is lentil soup. Boy, I could, ooh, I can kill some lentil soup. But this... This is like, I wouldn't even bring this to a potluck. This is like a potluck soup. Like a, hey guys, I bought you a soup. You know, potlucks, you know. It's always that one person that brings something. You'd be like, why the fuck did you bring this? This is that dish. But, I'm not eating this tonight. I'm going to make some rotel dip and call it a day. So, that's it. That's all. That's all about this vlog. So, yeah. I hope y'all got, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll walk y'all through my rotel dip tomorrow. But, that's the end of Vlogmas. I made me a nice little soup. Hope you guys enjoyed me looking natural. My natural state after the gym. Pure lioness. But yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in. And I'll see y'all on the next vloggy vlog. <laughs>